Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. This match against Naislib. I have Sweden, game 30 to 34 against the Catholic League. So, pretty classic matchup early in the Swedish intervention. Uh, fairly flat and open until I get to his side of the map. For infantry, four additional Pike and Shot. Four additional pike and shot with light guns. Light guns are equivalent to about 50 muskets and firepower and also give 50 defensive impact POA. Three out of five possible units of the Swedish salvo foot. These are oversized superior units with a salvo, which is a massive impact capability. It's also not very good at shooting close range. The light guns make up for that. The pikemen are armored, which mostly doesn't matter to be honest. They are very expensive. They're very good. I don't know if they're 83 points good, but I got one more anyway. For horse, we have five units of horse. One unit of Hakapels. These are elite impact mounted. So if they don't whiff the impact, they'll do very well for themselves. Crossiers, these are horse as opposed to the determined horse that I have elsewhere. So the enemy can fall back from them if they lose combat. To support the cavalry, have some dragoons, four units of commanded shot with light guns. These can't last long term in a melee, but they're cheap, they're good for skirmishing, and they can hold off cavalry for a few turns if they need to. Right, let's see that force comp in deployment. Got commanded shot to the left, and covering this rough ground. Looks like they're all, hmm. Okay, uh, we need to shift our focus to the right then. around okay on limber get dragoons ready and get our commanded shot in protected mode with adjacent friendly cavalry acapels to the far right Next turn. It's quite a bit of firepower on that flank. We're heading away. Okay, well we're not gonna fight in the woods, are we? What's the point of that? can send the commanded shot that way though. And one cavalry unit. Go run down those guns. Okay, so then in the meantime we can start withdrawing. While we get the rest of the army up. All right, let's turn.
Okay. In that case, we can redirect some of our pike and shot towards the forest. Not that they're especially good at forest work, but they are less of a waste than having Tercios in there. And they can help against these attached musketeers and the like. Keep our salvo foot in reserve. Are we sure where they should go at the moment? Looks like our first fighting is going to be around here. Next turn. Where are you going? Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll have to divert a few infantry units to the left of the forest. Now theirs will go right. Don't really like the split, but it's not really great for either of us. Do I push this? I would like to. It's a bit dangerous to get too far ahead of supports, though. We'll see. We have infantry not too far behind. Next turn. Pull them away to rally while we push up infantry to help deal with the situation. Very underwhelming performance by our artillery. Looks like we'll need cavalry off on that other flank after all. Is that a worthy trade? It probably is.
next turn. We're going to lose this unit, but it's 40 point for 40 points trade. I'm kind of okay with that given that otherwise these guns can just keep pressuring us forever, which is annoying. So, we'll accept the loss of this unit to disperse the guns. Take a check, but hold firm. Now we're gonna have to slow our pace momentarily so that we don't approach entirely scattered. I'd like to see if I could pin him down for an engagement somewhere. We'll see. Next turn. No flank and murder our cavalry. Okay, so we need to build a firing line here. You need to withdraw to our main line of foot or just generally away. So we'll keep trying to catch up, avoid too dangerous a clash here, we could even fall back. And I don't know, we'll see where he decides to stand and fight. Next turn. Oh, now you turn around. Okay. Keep running towards cover. Extend the line into the woods. I 
yes. Hello. Out of range. Hmm. Soon they'll be there. I regret shifting this way. Turn back. Next turn. Interesting. Can you hit this one next? Back and away. Towards those woods. situation. Next turn. Wish I had my dragoons over there. after them uh, encourage their continued movement let's cut in good charge here but I'm afraid we chase them out and that would be terrible
Let's see if we can't win some sort of cavalry action. Looking a bit outnumbered, aren't we? Might have to do more than that. This foot is going to have to push further out, I think, to have any effect. Oh well, don't love this. Next turn. Okay, fortunately then we're going to have to find some way to get the infantry involved. Here, if you go, here, cool, love that. I need to shove them just so we don't get shot at too bad. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, push them off. Impact is good. Melee is not. Let's withdraw. Let's turn. Ouch. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's great. Good start. Impact mounted, whiffed it.
Right. A bit awkward. We can move to confront them, but then we would also be disordered. Perhaps the thing to do is to engage here, and then if he charges, then we can counter charge. If he turns, we can shoot. If he goes into the woods, well, then at least he's disordered. We're gonna lose here. Can we win here? That's the question. That's all we can do. Well, Dragoons, kind of doomed sitting in here. Guess they can delay the enemy, if nothing else, by existing. Next turn. That's actually a bug that he can charge at that angle. Not that it mattered this time, but it could have mattered. So if we don't just shatter, we should be able to crush them now that they're disordered. And the charge. Okay. First things, salvo foot. Crunch in there. Charge could suspect we're better off covering flanks here. Oh, the hell with it. Battle's not going to be decided there anyway. I 
Right, so Impact Mounted got a disrupt there. It's nice, but they've got combat strength and armor, so it's not a huge difference, unfortunately. Probably should have fired with both units instead of charging. But that's all right. Next turn. Good. Even better. Now we just need to hold on in the woods for a bit. Granted, it might be easier said than done. Given that situation. And that. We're going to lose both the skirmish battle and the cavalry battle. But if we can win the infantry battle, then none of that other shit really matters. That unfortunately frees him to take out my guns, too. Interesting. They hold. I want this second salvo so I unit to hit that veteran tercio. Take some time to trundle out. Next turn. Oh, that's a shame. Out oh, them just fine.
Oh, that's amusing. Uh, why don't we prepare to bounce off those hussars? And commanded shot can start moving into contact here. Can we? Yes, we can. If we move forward, if we lose this melee, it could be bad, but I'm gonna just accept that it's possible to zone these out. Okay. Now, they can prep into their salvo there. These are going to hold on, these are not, and so you can prepare to join there. Hammer them with an impact. So now if our frag unit breaks, we'll still have an advantage. Yeah, do our best to just swarm all of these and see what happens. Next turn. Good, that'll be taken care of. They pursue off map, and at least it won't be our problem for a while. I wanted to set up the flank, but it looks like we'll just have to uh, bounce them right away instead. Okay. Don't want to allow them to get to our artillery, at least not for free. that in mind we can start turning the guns okay salvo smash perfect get the disrupted regular tercio as well and prepare to pile in with the rest next turn Good. Oof. So they're no longer disorder, but they're already disrupted, so it shouldn't really matter. Firm. That's great. They had nowhere to run.
Well, let's see, it looks like he's not gonna go for a bounce. Cover our poor disrupted foot. Turn back that way. Salvo smash. Pile in. Prepare to finish them. You can start prepping for the return of the enemy cavalry. Stay in the woods to rally. Next turn. Nice. All right. Let's match. Right, so, uh, yeah, Tercios, Woods, bad. Go into an in-depth explanation of this, so you can skip this if you just want to see the game. But the Tercio is mixed foot, so part of the unit is heavy foot, and part is medium foot. So, ordinary medium foot, moderate disorder in the woods, 22%. Mixed foot is moderate disordered, but it's 30% and its movement range is limited to one. That's because the 30% is the average of a of the medium foot portion of the unit being 22% disordered, and the heavy foot being severely, which I believe is 45%, and it's assuming the mixed foot is at a ratio of one pike to two shot, which is the most common ratio, so it's used for all mixed foot units, even those that are different ratios, like these 50-50 or tercios, 60-40 late tercios, or you know, 80-20 late pike and shot. In addition, the Kyle portion of the tercio, uh, so if it's steady, it gets its POA, and it cancels the POAs of things like swordsmen, melee pistols, etc. However, if it's unsteady, it still gets that cancellation, but it, or it still gets its melee POA, but it loses its cancellation. And if it's severely disordered or fragmented, it loses both. Uh, so in this situation, although the unit is on average moderately disordered, the Kyle portion itself is severely disordered, being heavy foot, which is why it's not getting the Kyle POA against any of these opponents, because it is moderately disordered with the pike heavy foot pike being severely disordered. So you don't want to do this. Now I did lose the cavalry battle more or less, but I think given that he only had the three units or four units of non-light foot, he must have put extra points into cavalry, including 120 points into light cavalry. And ultimately it probably would have been better to put more points into heavy foot Anchor on the forest with light foot. One or two units of light cavalry still would have been useful, and then push for a confrontation in the open. If he survived the salvo impact, and melee, these aren't any better than any other veteran Viking shot, really. They've got a few more men, so they can take more casualties, more suffering from combat strength modifier, but still. Uh, but this situation where your units are disordered and being charged by units 
or not disordered is bad and it is especially bad for fixed foot type units. So, good game. Till next time.